YouTube and all my baby babies. It's your girl, we're secret to my truth. Another video before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend, say that mama because we love you over here. And also, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, also share the video, show your girl some love because I really do appreciate it. And y'all, in today's video, um, I'll have to go wash my hair in a minute, but I don't know, I was just coming out here to um, some chit chat. So y'all, the other day I had went to a, um, a lady's luncheon with my mom and her, her friends and stuff. And it was just so refreshing, like literally refreshing to go out, have lunch with a whole bunch of females that, you know, their ages ranged from around my age, maybe older, maybe in the middle. But it was just so refreshing to actually go and have, you know conversation where you didn't have to worry about anybody trying to sneak this um any arguing any fussing like everybody got along with everybody and that was just so refreshing to me because y'all I'm 30 when I tell you I've been around the world and I yeah yeah like I have been like I went to college when I was young um so just that experience of being around females and um I'm not sure if it's gonna come out before or after because I did a story time telling y'all about Tony so basically, Tony was like a play cousin. My mom dated her uncle. And even after my mom stopped dating her uncle, me and her became like this. Like we were two peas in a pod even before she had kids. Like I was there to see her before she had kids. After her kids, I was in her kids' life. And it's just like when you're younger, you don't peep stuff. It takes for you to get older. And yeah, y'all, I'm kind of slouched now in this hot drive. <laughs> but it takes you to get older to peep stuff to show or... To understand as an adult what is appropriate and not appropriate in a friendship and now that I sit back and look back of like the female friends or friends I call my best friends or friends that were like family members to me that are no longer cool with me it makes me think like dang you were in toxic relationships as far as friendships because a friendship you know regardless if you're dating someone when you have a best friend that's a relationship and just going to that lunch, it made me realize, like, dang, you had toxic female friendships. Because it was just so refreshing, like, getting people's perspective. People had adult conversations. People that got adult things going on in their lives. And it was just so refreshing. But it kind of made me, like, sometimes stuff triggers my mind. Whether it's a positive or a negative. That just triggered my mind, like, you had toxic friendships, y'all. So we're going to talk about Tony in this story. So, you know, me and Tony was like this. My mom dated her uncle. We was like this. She was cool. I would stay, stay the night over. You know, she stayed. Well, if y'all seen the video, she stayed with her grandma. I would go over to her grandma's house, spend the night. She would always come to my house. Um, we would kick it. We would go skating, go to the movies. Remember when I told y'all we was on the chat line together? Um, we had just, you know, she had seen me graduate from um high school graduate from eighth grade like she was there for certain milestones in my life but Tony's traits didn't come out until I became more in tune with myself and I you know um you know the older you get you come in more tune with yourself and you're faced up against different obstacles you get a little bit more well-rounded and you get a little bit more into the world so y'all when I returned back from college because I uh, went to college for a year um I ain't gonna lie to y'all, um, when I went to, to the university I went to, messing around, you know, not messing around like that, but, you know, partying and stuff, your girl got on academic probation, and it took for me to be like, you know, I'm not about to waste these people's time, so I came back, I came back, I ended up going to community college, which I graduated, both, Calhoun Community College, and per, um, so yeah, when I came home, because I was gone for a year, and me and Tony, we like, picked back up, because when I was home, I really came back. First of all, I was dating a senior. Mind you, I'm a freshman, dating a senior, hot in the pants. <laughs> but I came back, and then it's just like me and her, um, we was kicking it. At this time, Tony had two kids, but they were young. Yeah, so we would kick it. Now, this time, we ain't going to the skating ring no more. We going to the clubs. We going to the bars. We going to the sports bars. We going to karaoke. Like, we kicking it. We doing what young kids or she was a little bit older than me but we're doing what young people do you go and kick it but about tony this is for all my subscribers be careful of people backstabbers the oj said the oj said it best they smiling in your face 
all along they trying to take your place they backstabbers and that's what tony was because i never realized that now when we was younger tony had this thing like when we would go out or kick it with guys whether it was friends or people we just met she was the type of female that i always want to upstage somebody me i'm i'm low-key i'm a people seeker like i like to seek what's going on like i sit back in the cut you know i'm quiet at first i like to kind of feel vibes because i'm the type of person i can go off of personality vibes and if your vibes is not right with me i can't mess with you like you don't even have to open up your mouth so tony is one of those types she was like the type of females that like to, you know those females i like to show out in front of dudes they always got to be extra they always gotta if they gotta bend down and drop some they want to be dramatic and i'm not mad at her because every female is different and if that's what you feel like you got to do to do what you need to do to get the attention not you but that's not me like my personality is what um turns people on towards me because they like my personality because i'm so real i don't have to do extra stuff so that was one i never paid attention to that until i got older two Tony was the type of person who would like to say slick stuff. Like, you know, those back, what they call them, back-ended uh, comments where they be like, oh, girl, that's cute. I should have got that. Like, certain stuff, like a comment, but then it's, like, not a comment in the same sentence. So she used to do stuff like that. And it's just like, I don't know. And it's just like, when I came back, um, the dude that I was dating in my senior year, we were talking on and off because he had showed his behind when I was on campus so we had broke up because homeboy wanted to get handsy and when i mean handsy in this story i mean homeboy wanted to get physical like um let's just say mike tyson or an or van uh, vander holyfield but i was mike tyson in the case but he was one of those types he liked to get handsy and i don't promote any type of um domestic situations you know i know family members that go through that so when it comes to stuff like that i don't condone whether you're male female whatever gender um gender fluidity however you you know however you checklist yourself i don't condone nobody putting their hands on nobody keep your hands to yourself and he was the type he would like to if you ain't gonna argue with him because i'm not the argumentative type if i say what i gotta say i walk away i'm done but he was the type of, you know that you're going to listen to what i gotta say even if you're done or i'm gonna try to get hands you try to you know try to you know collar check you so me and him we stopped talking but you know being younger He'd be like, oh, okay, we'll text here and there. But me and Tony would be kicking it, kicking it, kicking it. Now I knew he was a dog because that's why we wasn't together. So I remember one day, y'all, and this is when I had came back, and me and Tony was about to kick it, and I noticed Tony isn't her phone just, you can see the thread is just getting longer and longer, but I'm not peeping who the perp is. So y'all, worse comes to worse. I want to say some weeks went by, and this goes to show you that she was a dog too. And I don't like calling people out their names, but whatever. So I remember one time me and him was talking and he was like, yeah, that's why I'm talking to your your cousin, your friend. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. And then I held on to that, com you know, that conversation, I want to say for about a day or two. And I want to say that day was like a Saturday that me and Tony ended up going out and i find it was like tony because you we will always be like girl who are you talking to who are you over there texting who are you over there pillow talking who are you over there boo loving with and she was like girl you wouldn't believe who texted me i'm like who she like let me see what could i name him because i don't want to say his name um mm, she like dog dog text me was asked me about you and in my mind this is during a time where i i've been i've been in the world i've been in the scene mixed and mingled with people so i knew i'm just like girl are you lying so she like dog you know reached out to me was asking me about you asked me what you doing now that you back from college and stuff stuff and that and that and i'm like oh, okay for i'm like so what dog say mind you we on our way to kick it where we going to but that's one thing you never break character whether it's good news or bad news you never break character because you never want your opponent to know what you're thinking and never do that that's where food for thought never break character because as she's talking she's looking over to me because i'm driving i'm thinking like in my mind i'm like she's trying to see if i'm going to show any emotion or not so she like dog you know been texting me and stuff like that and i'm like for what do you say she like hold on girl let me show you first of all i knew you're lying because the thread is so long if somebody reached out to you and you said that you ain't say nothing the thread there shouldn't be no thread it should have been a one two bam thank you goodbye nothing to say a thread is a conversation, a back and forth conversation. I don't know what was said. I don't know who started the conversation first. 
because later on down in life, I found that Tony liked to, um, she liked to eat leftovers, which I mean, when I mean leftovers, Tony likes to talk to my exes. And I didn't know that. And I really didn't know that until Instagram started cracking. Because you know you can see people's followers. And I noticed that any ex that I talked to, Tony would just gravitate towards them. But yeah, it was just like after that, I looked at Tony differently because I'm like, you my homegirl. Like, there's been times I know her exes, baby fathers, all of that would try to talk to me. And I'm the type of person I say, homegirl, Tony, you know such and such try to talk to me. And she'd be like, is you not, girl, I shut it down. I told him, don't play them games with me. You know, I don't even roll that way, which I don't. I've never been that type of person to do that. So I'm bold enough to let you know that, hey, homeboy was up, up in my DMs and showed her. And what did I say? When they would say, hey, how you doing? I would put, don't play with me because it ain't that type of party. And that would be, that would be the only thing that I respond. But I noticed that Tony, she liked to just keep going. Like, it was just like that. And then another situation with another ex. Um, I remember when I was dating this other guy. Now, this was the first straw, but I was still young. Um, I was dating this one guy and we were at like a social gathering, you know, drinks were flowing. And another thing, like when I drink, whether it's wine or liquor, I'm real cool. My attitude is always chill. But when I drink, I'm really chill because I'm really like in my mind. So it's just like when people drink, either they're going to A, get sleepy, B, get rowdy and want to fight, C, get freaky or D, just be throwing up everywhere. Tony, she's a type, when she gets drunk, she gets freaky. And homeboy was the type, which he's my ex now too. He was that type too. But it's just like, they were the ones that were nonchalant. Like they didn't pay attention. You got people that get drunk and don't pay attention. They lose all focus of their surroundings. Me, I get more in tune with my surroundings. So that was another situation where we was at a gathering. And they both were geeked and stuff. And I'm listening to music, chilling, playing cards. And they're giving each other googly eyes. They're so out of it because neither one of them knew how to hold their liquor that they just forgetting where they at and they just gazed upon each other's eyes on some lady in a tramp type stuff. And that's when I was the first strike. The second strike was her and dog. And it was just like, it only takes people to burn me twice to kind of like be like, I can't mess with you with that. And it was just like, after that, I would stop talking to her, calling her, returning her phone calls or messages or, you know, text messages. Because I feel like this. With guys, which I'm always friends with guys, because guys, they don't be on that. Like, guys, the guys I chill with, they mature. They be trying to just kick it. Just kick it and go wherever the wind blows them. That's that. But with females, I can't get along with females because the cattiness. So I guess this would be like a lesson learned type video. Be careful of the females that you keep in your space. When it comes to Tony, it took me a long time because I knew her since I was a teenager to like adulthood. It took me a while to know what type of character she was. Be careful of people who are in your energy trying to suck your energy dry. Those aren't your friends. Those aren't your friends. Those aren't your besties. Whatever you call your dog, your real dog, that's not your friend. Anybody that's trying to backtrack or get some off your plate, whether it's something you still eating on or your leftovers, don't mess with nobody that talked to your exes somebody you're messing with what if it's what if, i don't care if it's somebody that's just a fling watch people who wants the same stuff you want whether it's clothing something materialistic there's nothing wrong with inquiring somebody's taste because you can be like well i like them shoes i'm about to go cop those but when you get on some type of single white female type stuff side note if you've never seen single white female go watch that i don't care what gender you are go watch single white female and look at the things that happen in that movie. And if you have a checklist and if the person that you're friends with, if they can fit into that box of single white female, you got a problem on your hands. You don't want nobody that wants to be a carbon copy of you. No, that's not cute. Unless you were born with a twin, that's the only carbon, car carbon, car carbon, carbon copy that you should allow. You don't want no friends that's jealous of you. Because I noticed like when we would go out, she would try to kind of critique like, my hair because my hair was longer than yours okay girl y'all hair it's a little you know a little stringy today what you gotta wash your hair you know stuff like that like it, it ain't that deep you know try to say so because i like i told you i always been a big friend don't care don't care 
So she would always be the one that try to critique somebody's outfit. Like, you know, maybe because me, I don't care about showing arms or legs. Don't. And what about it? So she would try to critique stuff like that. And when she seen that I was very confident in the person I am, my body, my hair, my whatever, she would try to find, you know, she seen that she couldn't do that. It's like, dang, that's not bothering her. Let me try to do this. Dang, that's not bothering her. Be careful with people like that because those type of people would get you in sticky situations. And with her, I've never been in a sticky situation. And there's another character. Oh, excuse me, y'all. And there's another character I got into a sticky situation. I might tell that story next while I'm in the storytelling mode, you know. Because um, this is like therapy, you know, for me getting this stuff off my chest. But be careful of people like those. Those are not your friends. Um, be careful of friends that keep tabs on favors they did for you. Because she's that type of person. I remember there was a point in time when I had no car way, way back in the day. And I needed to, um, I needed to ride to work. And she made it her business to always remind me of, you know, when... I couldn't do anything for do something for her. Remember that time I one of those type of friends. So just be careful and be mindful of the company that you keep. Cause now that I sit back and realize Tony was very toxic. And even as an adult, she's still toxic now because she reached out to me um some time ago. I'm not gonna say when, but it was some time ago and I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I'm a grudge holder. If you do me dirty, you do me dirty. And um I try to I try to forgive <clears throat> I forgive but I don't forget and um she reached out to me through uh what was it IG IG Facebook whatever one of them social media things and she didn't acknowledge her wrongs and I'm the type of person I don't want you to kiss my behind but acknowledge that you wronged me and I take one back I actually gave Tony three tries the third time me and tony fell out um i tell people you can do me dirty which i i always you know i'll bounce back from but i ain't gonna mess with you no more but you do my family dirty like i'm very territorial with my good friends and my family members and there was a situation with her and a family member I'm not gonna go into detail because i'm not that type of messy person um but yeah there was a situation with her and a family member and after that i looked at her totally different because it's just my thing is you don't do dirty to people that's been there for you, especially in your time of need. And I'm not the type of person that keeps totals of, oh, well, we're one and two. We're three and three. Like, I'm not the type of person, like, I don't, I'll get my last, you know? But she did a family member real dirty. I mean, it was real gutter. It was real trifling, if you ask me. Real trifling, if I'm selecting my words correctly. So it was like after that third try, because usually I don't give people a third chance. I had to leave her alone. Um, she reached out to me. We didn't really discuss it. It was kind of like a surface type of apology. Because my thing is, own your stuff. I'm the type of person I own my stuff. You know, I own my stuff in a conversation. But her, she was still trying to tiptoe around the situation. Like, her hands were clean. Like, they were just, nothing was on her hands. So I was just like, I can still feel the tension there. And I'm not going to force anything with anybody. I will never force a relationship, a friendship with anyone. So it was just like after that, and then I noticed that she was still following exes or people I've talked to or dated, whether there was, you know, a situation between a person or not, between me and that person or not, she was still following them. And I just thought that was weird. And I had just recently got out of a relationship with a person and she was following him. And I'm like, dang, girl, like you, you single white female to the hundredth power. So it was just like, after that, I had to cut Tony to the, I had to cut all ties when I mean I cut ties, I even blocked her. And when I block you, that's it. Because I don't, I don't, you know how some people are like, oh, let me go through my block list and see how I can unblock. No, once your block is permanently blocked. Unless you make something new, try to reach out to me, which somebody has done that before. But yeah, but y'all just protect your energy, your peace of mind, your safety. Just protect everything that's yours. Don't have people that's negative around you because it's not going to do anything but bring you down. That's it. But I hope I didn't bore y'all with this video. I had to get that off my chest. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.